So it's 6th of November 1948, the Presley family arrive here in Memphis and they settle into a Settle into a rooming house right here on Washington, number 370 Washington. Um, it's changed a little from two years ago. They're obviously building something here now. It was waste ground. Uh, but this is where they moved to Vernon. We're soon to start work for Precision Tool Company down on Kansas, down on South Memphis, down in South Memphis. And Elvis enrolled at Humes High School. Um, some people say it was he actually started in uh, Market Street, the old Market Street school. Um, I, I, I can't find any evidence of that apart from uh, apparently one aunt um, stated he uh, he went to the school for a couple of weeks at least, but um, I, I, said I can't find any evidence of that um, at all. All other sort of storytelling and uh, of other family suggests that he started straight away in Humes High School. Well, one way or the other, he was the Presley family were living here at 370 Washington, paying eleven dollars a week rent. So they'd come to Memphis. Um, they come to Memphis looking for a better life, of course, but. Uh, it certainly wasn't coming anytime soon, living in this boarding house and uh, by May of 1949 they'd moved they'd moved literally round the corner yeah, up this short little road, Poplar is the road that's running parallel the other side there they'd moved to a house literally just up there, 572 Poplar uh, it was cheap, but it was nine dollars a week rent. Um, maybe that's why Vernon took that up. But uh, it was an old Victorian house, and it was several families that were sharing the house. And the Presley family had one room um, where they would cook and sleep, including Minnie May, of course. Um, and they would share the bathroom with four other families, believe it or not. Um, so certainly in the in the short term things not looking much better in Memphis than they had in Tupelo. So the Presley family moved from 370 Washington, which is just over there. Just beyond that building, that's where it once stood, up to 572 Poplar, which was just over there roughly in that uh, location there so it was literally a stone's throw from where they were originally moved down in May of 49 and that's where they remained until they uh, were accepted by the Tennessee uh, by the Memphis Housing Authority into the Lauderdale Courts buildings in uh, September of 49 so they, they, they were here for about four or five months in all After the more or less deprivation of living on the house on Poplar Avenue, the Presleys were finally accepted into the Memphis housing here at Lauderdale Courts. We moved in here to a 185, paying $35 a month rent. Now I won't go into it too much here because two years ago I did a we actually stayed in the apartment, um, so there's a, I'll put the link below for that, there's a full, full video of that, um, but just by way of reference, the Presley's apartment was down there in the corner. Those two windows there, that, that window there was actually Elvis's bedroom, that window there was the living room. It's got the historical mark here for those in doubt. Elvis lived, this Vernon Gladys lived at 185 Winchester apartment 328 from October 49, or says October there, to January 53. Former residents remember foremost that Elvis liked to sing and play guitar. He practiced in the basement and performed for neighbours on the front steps of his building. Elvis volunteered to sing at teenage dances in the recreation centre. Johnny Burnett, missing an E off the Burnett. 
founder of the rock and roll trio, sometimes refused to let Elvis perform. The Presleys moved in 1953 because their income exceeded the level allowed for project residents. Bill Black also lived in the courts, but he did not meet Elvis until they recorded together at Sun Records in 1954. For three years, Black and Scotty were Elvis's original band members. The courts themselves were built in 1936 by the Federal Emergency Administration of Public Works. Uh, it's one of the first federal housing projects in the nation, which replaced substandard housing with clean modern dwellings for the poor. The courts were built along property adjoining Bayou Gayoso, which had been lined in concrete and covered by the extension of Lauderdale Street. Designed in the Georgian Revival style, the courts contained 449 apartments in buildings one to three storeys high. Part of Market Street was converted to green space and the Memphis Housing Authority selected families based upon financial need. Conforming to the segregation laws of the time, only white families were considered for residency. In 2000, MHA renovated the court into mixed income housing under the Hope 6 programme and renamed it as Uptown Square. So yeah, it was in the segregated south, it was a whites only housing authority. Um, they did actually build uh, a, house, um, a project for African Americans around the same time, which I believe was called the Dixie Housing Project, uh, just a little bit further east from here. Um, but that no longer stands. This was in a dilapidated state actually in the 70s and was due for demolition um, until it was saved and now it's, as I say, it's a mixed income um, housing, uh, it's mixed income housing now. Uh, but yeah, you can stay in the apartment. So. so again, I'll put the video down below, a link to the video when we stayed there two years ago, so you can see inside. That was Elvis's bedroom when he stayed, when the Presley family lived here from September 1949. They finally had to move from here in uh, January 53. Um, Elvis had uh, taken a job in September at the Mal Metal Manufacturing Company after school, working shifts 3 till 11 pm. Um, but when the teachers were concerned, teachers told uh, Gladys that Elvis was falling asleep in class. She, she forced him to give up that job, although he was trying to do his best for the family to, to bring in a bit of extra money. And Gladys was uh, forced to return to St. Joseph Hospital, which was just across the way, the other side of the interstate there, where the interstate is now. Unfortunately, Gladys going back to work pushed them over the, the wage earnings that qualified them to live at this, uh, in this Memphis Housing Authority. So they had notice of eviction in November of 1952. Um, and by January 1953, they were living on Saffron's up in up by Hume's High School. I mean, just about here, about here that the Presley family moved in January of 1953, following their eviction from Lauderdale Courts. Of course, it was uh, handy for Elvis just at that time. He was coming to the end of his. Uh, School in at Hume's High, which was just up the end of the road. So the building, of course, long gone, and these new uh, new houses have been built since. Just a uh, usual stop here, Hume's High School. I was attended here from November 1948 when the Presleys arrived in Memphis. Started here on the 8th of November. Um, right through to the summer of, uh, to his graduation in the summer of 53. Uh, pretty uneventful um, pupil by all accounts until the minstrel show in April 53 where Elvis was on the, was on the programme and insignificant enough for them to misspell his name as Prestley uh, with a T in there. Um, but anyway, he sang Teresa Brewer's Till I Waltz With You Again and apparently that changed uh, the attitude of uh, most of his classmates, especially the girls, um, for the short remainder of time that they had left in school there. Now this year is Alabama Avenue, where the white car is coming in down the end. Comes up and it bends round slightly to the left here. 
to go down to Lauderdale down there. And Elvis, when the Presley's moved here in March of 1953, the road didn't bend down, it carried on straight through where the interstate has now been built right in front there. Actually terminated at Jackson, just over the interstate there. Uh, Jackson bent round to the left originally, up uh, before St Jude's was built there. You can see one of the buildings of St Jude's with the trees. Um, the, uh, the far side of Jackson was St Joseph's Hospital and you had Alabama and another street that can't remember Cros I'm not sure if it's Crosby, just a bit further up. Um, so obviously the Presley's house probably is actually where the interstate is running through now is perhaps where Elvis lived. Uh, the Presley family's moved in March 53, moved in with the Fructa family. Um, the Fructas lived upstairs and the Presley's downstairs. Elvis was still in Humes at the time, which would have been a short walk. As I said, the interstate was near then, but it's just a short walk of about half a mile or so. Half a mile to a mile. And in April of 1953, Elvis was in the annual minstrel show. It was while living here at Alabama that Elvis recorded the demo, demo record in um, 19 in the summer of 53, of course, first demo record of the sun. The second demo in January 54. And of course, the start of Elvis's career in July of 1954 when Elvis recorded at Sun. That's right, Mama, Blue Money, Kentucky, all that happened while Elvis was living here, 462 Alabama.